My name is Parker Richards. I'm the Wood Miser Authorized Dealer for the state of Alaska. Alaska is an amazing place. Alaska is known as the last frontier and you can come to Alaska, buy some land, get a sawmill and build a house. Our local Wood Miser family includes my daughter Kate who has become a great asset to myself and to our customers. I introduced the Woodmiser when I was around 12 or 13 years old. I decided to work with my dad, who is our Alaskan Woodmiser dealer, because it is a family business. We are at a very good location because we have air transportation and ground transportation in central and eastern Alaska. Not only are we centrally located in Anchorage, then we have mills on hand. Half of our customers are in rural areas that have no roads it's important to have a good airport nearby. The beauty about the sawmills that we have here is you can take them anywhere. Called Parker and um, they will put it on the plane for me. So we load it on the sled with the forklift and we drug it all the way to Norvik. You know, it was 66 miles through the river and we almost didn't make it. It was pretty deep. Cutting doesn't even stop just because of the snow comes. The main service we provide here is blade resharpening and sending out new blades. Customers have blades that have dulled. Um, they send them in to get resharpened, and it's a two-phase two process here. We'll sharpen the blades, and then we reset the teeth of the blades, and then ship the blades back to the customers. Our customers here are heavily dependent on seven-degree blades for cutting frozen birch and frozen spruce. A wood miser owner myself, that's something I really, really enjoy. It's nothing more pleasurable than sawing fresh lumber with a really sharp blade, and it's cutting like butter. The majority of our customers buy a Woodmiser sawmill for personal use. Uh, the dream arose to have uh, an own log cabin. Their mill comes in, we do the training, and we send off another happy customer. Well working brand and actually I uh, got two friends and they got Woodmisers too. I love working at Woodmiser because we have a good quality product that I can stake my reputation on because I know it will be safe. We're probably the smallest Woodmiser branch there is in the United States. Every year we have our Woodmiser open house. We put out as much equipment as we can. And then we also have the state fair. It's another place where not only do you get to see the equipment run and to talk to Woodmiser people about it, you get to run it yourself and try it out. You'll see a sawmill and you fire it up, they're like, wow. One of the things our customers really enjoy is our annual timber framing class. This is held in conjunction with Thompson Timber from Glen Rothes in Scotland. Jim comes over and spends at least two weeks over here every summer teaching people how to do the traditional mortise and tenon. I start doing more like women's clinics and classes. And when we have the shows like the state fair and the open house, it's just come get to know us, come see the equipment, come try it out. You know, there's no expectation like, oh, you have come to see us, you must buy us off. One of the most important things to do when you're thinking about buying a sawmill is ask several really important questions. Is there local service? Would there be local support? Will they give you training on the mill? Of other companies, they want you to de be dependent on them for parts and service because that's what keeps them in business. That's not our concern at Woodminder. Our concern is making sure that our sawyers have as much freedom and independence as possible. Actually, in a lot of ways, we kind of prefer it when our customers don't need to call us for maintenance because their mills run so well. Woodmiser Alaska is more than just a place to buy a sawmill. Because my wife Kit also is involved, customers that come here feel like they're part of our family. Our customers are our friends. It's fun. I mean, I enjoy my friendship with Parker. I'm always calling him, saying hi. The moment that you decide I'm ready to cut, you are gone and you're cutting and you're making sawdust all day long. That's the best feeling in the world.